do you know how to pray? That's a simple question, but often when you ask, would somebody like to pray, you would think you'd ask them to solve some sort of differential equation. There's kind of a deer in the headlight look and nobody wants to volunteer, but it shouldn't be that way. And, and for some of us, often prayer is too much like a divine vending machine. We put in our prayer request at the top and press a button for what we want and expect it to drop to the bottom so we can go about our merry way. I think there's a better model. And from Matthew chapter 6, we're going to see the Lord's Prayer, which probably might be best described as the disciples' prayer. They've asked Jesus some questions about how to pray. And in verses 5 through 8, he talks a little bit about prayer. And then finally, he, he uses what we call the Lord's Prayer as an example. So, so listen to his instruction and see if your prayer life follows it. Verse 5, And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Now, this is what we call the Lord's Prayer. This, then, is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. I encourage you to read that. And you also might want to look at different translations between NIV, the King James, the New King James, Living Translate. You'll find a fair amount of uh, variance in these verses. So, does your prayer include any praise, any repentance, any yielding to the, to the Lord's will? I'm sure there's no shortage of asks, things that I want. But when you look at this as a model prayer, what we ask for isn't the focus. And so I invite you to think about that as you pray this week. Are you in praise? Are you seeking repentance? Are you yielding to his will? It changes your prayer life. I'm Jim Creel Jr., Associate Pastor of First Methodist in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We want to invite you to join us on Sunday for our worship service at 10 o'clock, both the Contemporary or the traditional service. Or join our online community. You can watch it uh, in the comfort of your home. You won't get the same connection, but you'll get content. In the meantime, wherever you worship, however you worship, we encourage you to follow Jesus and share him with others.